Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, everyone. I'm just giving it, gonna give it a few minutes um, to let more people in. I hope everyone's having a great Thursday morning. Thursday, second best day of the week, right? Oh, I thought was, when you said Thursday, I was like, wait, is it Thursday? <laughs> it's Thursday, right? Yes. And that means tomorrow's Friday. Absolutely. <laughs> Always a good day. All right, so. You've got about seven or eight people with us, Rachel. So if you want uh, everybody, I'll, I'll unmute everybody. Y'all, if you've got noise in your background, just mute yourselves, but. I would love to. Um... Oh, hang on. Rach, hang on, you're muted. There we go. Can you hear me now? Yeah. Okay, perfect. All right, I would love the morning, or er, to keep this more conversational. I do have a lot to go over in terms of Instagram. But before I do that, I would like to introduce myself. And then since um, I would love also to get to know all of you. So if we could just go around and introduce yourselves and state um, the, the business that you work for and um, just a, a fun fact about you and how you utilize uh, social media for your business. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started. Um, my name is Rachel Lawrence. If you haven't joined me for the last two uh, Reboot with Rachels, I am the marketing coordinator for the Winter Haven Chamber. And let's see my fun facts. I have um, the most adorable, two, almost two-year-old little boy named Oliver who lights up my entire life. Uh, I am engaged to be married to my fiance, Tim in October and photography is my passion and I also own a small photography business. All right, so I think one, one at a time, Amanda, should we go through and unmute everyone so we can get to know everyone on here? Yeah. So how about, well, how about we dial? I just unmuted, I'm trying to unmute dial. And Tasha, Kali, Okay, Dial's unmuted and so is Tasha. Hi, my name is Dial Randall. I'm membership director of Center Club of Winter Haven. And my fun fact is I guess I would spend every free moment in the kitchen baking if possible. I love that. Perfect. Great. What's your favorite thing to bake? Uh, whatever the recipe is on my counter. <laughs> I love cookies. I, I've always done a lot of uh, the hand decorated cookies, special event cookies. Oh, that takes a real talent. Well, thanks for joining us, Dial. I'm happy about this. Thank you for hosting it. Tasha? Hi, I'm Tasha with Reliance Medical Centers. Um, a fun fact about myself, I recently became an ordained minister because two of my best friends are getting married and I'm going to be the one doing it, I guess. Hey, I did that. That's awesome. <laughs> Perfect. I remember one morning at breakfast, I was like, I want to be an ordained minister. So I like went online and filled out everything and then I've never used it since. But I was like, oh, it's fun to have in my back pocket. Yeah, just in That's case. Awesome. <laughs> What's the wedding that you're going to be ministering? The first one is December, and the other one I think might be sooner than that. So, oh. yeah, <laughs> the dates keep getting changed, aren't they? <laughs> yeah, I know. Um, uh, and I use Instagram for. I want to learn more about it. I use social media for a lot of different platforms. So I use it for uh, Better Living for Seniors. I'm on the board there. Uh, we use it here at Reliance, and also my friend and I own. Um, I do her social media for her bakery. So perfect. Different uses. Awesome. And Tasha, I believe we've met years ago. Yes. <laughs> yes. Quite a few times. It's good to see your face again. I was like, nice oh, to I see you. <laughs> Carly's unmuted. Morning. My name is Carly Evans. I'm the director of student services over at Kaiser. And we have um, 
an Instagram page for our campus that we're trying to um, build and grow, but we also have um, a social media team for the university system itself. So I just want to learn how to better support that. Um, and I don't know, I don't know if I have a fun fact <laughs> about myself. I, I just, I have um, two wonderful kids. One just turned six and one just, one's about to turn two. And I feel like I've kind of been busy being their mom and I've got to get back to myself. Holly, I cannot like, believe your baby is almost two. I oh cannot yeah. Believe that's two years. Yeah. It's flying by. She's, yeah. She's two going on 22. She is <laughs> a force. I love that. A force. Chris, Carly, you need this book, Self-Care for Moms. I need that. <laughs> I do. Well, thanks for joining us. Thank you. All right. Miss Sherry, I'm going to unmute your mic here. Oh. There you go. Thank you. I, I just tuned on. What, what is the question? Oh, hi, Sherry. Nice. Thanks for joining us. <laughs> Okay, so I just would like to keep this morning a little bit more conversational. So I just thought I'd get to know more about all of you as well that, that are joining in. So if you could just tell us um, your name, where you work, and uh, just a fun fact about yourself and what you're utilizing social media for. Okay, uh, this is Sherry Simmers. I, I work at the Women's Resource Center in Winter Haven. And we've been here for about 38 years, so we're um, we're well known in the community, but we could be known better. Uh, we are using social media very poorly uh, because I'm just not. No, we don't have anyone here who is really uh, literate on the social media platforms. I've I've had a couple consultants come in and tell us what to do but I just don't have time to do it and a fun fact about me I, I hate to get I, I hate to give away the best stuff right on right at first but um, I went skydiving and on the north shore of Hawaii Yay! it was a fabulous beautiful experience and I would do that again I've never seen anything so beautiful Oh, that's wow. amazing. Sherry, I've also it's been fun. skydiving uh, a few years ago now. And do you agree that like once they open the cockpit, like the door, that's when it becomes real? I'm like, oh, okay, we're doing this. <laughs> yeah, I that. I was like, are you ready? And I was like, no. And he just kind of like forced my body out of the plane. I'm like, I guess I'm doing this. <laughs> yeah, you, I felt, I don't know if ever, I felt a fear that I had, I couldn't even put a name to it. I couldn't even say it was fear. It was just like, I couldn't breathe. I, you know, I felt like they, you go out of the plane and I, I was tandemed to my brother. So I, I felt perfectly safe, but it's just that idea of, of saying, well, you know, this that, is that's it. a well, lot I, of sibling true trust right there to be in tandem yeah. skydive and it's your brother that's the, that's the that's attached to you. I'm not sure I, I any of my brothers love me enough that I would do that. <laughs> so is he the one that had to pull the the shoe out? Yes, when you when you go tandem, the and and that they in he's a skydiver anyway, but. Um, it was he was in charge of all of that and all i had to do was just you know stick out my arms and enjoy right. the the scene and mm -hmm. then once the parachute opened that's when you see the beautiful scene below you right that's amazing. It's pretty cool yeah all right so i'm gonna unmute marianne here i don't know if any of these guys i can't see videos for marianne joshua or tiffany so Marianne? I'm here. Can you hear me? We can yeah. hear you. Good morning. Okay, good morning. <laughs> I don't have it on video because I don't have the best office to have the background like you all have. <laughs> um, I am Mary Ann Becker. I work for Central Window Sales, office manager, and I've kind of taken over the social media. Um, so I do all kinds of like Facebook, Twitter, um, 
Instagram. And I really kind of wanted to see what this was all about and see how I can improve our Instagram uh, for our business if, in getting more referrals. Perfect. Awesome. Nice. Awesome. Thank you. I'm going to unmute Joshua, if I can. I'm asking him to unmute. And Tiffany, I'm trying to unmute you too. Joshua? Yes, can you hear me? We can hear yeah. you. Good morning. Okay, perfect. Good morning. Um, and yeah, sorry, I don't have video. I'm working remotely today. And for whatever reason, a remote desktop doesn't allow the video. Um, so my name is Josh Miller. I work for the Brooks Law Group. Um, we use social media, primarily Facebook, to be honest. We have an Instagram account, but it's not being utilized uh, probably, you know, to best practices. So that's definitely why I wanted to join today. Uh, fun fact about me is actually that I am uh, starting law school in a couple of months. So I guess next meeting, we'll probably get to meet my replacement. Wonderful. That's awesome. And you were the king of Facebook Live and making me <laughs> yeah. on Facebook Live. So we love you lots, Josh. Thank you. Perfect. And Tiffany. I'm trying to unmute you, Tiffany, from where you are, but I can't. It's asking to unmute. I don't know if you can be able. Oh, there you go. Can you hear me? Yes, okay, perfect. So I am Tiffany Small. I work at Career Source Polk and I'm definitely trying to find ways that we can leverage Instagram for our business. Um, one fun fact about me right now, I am competing in a six week fitness challenge to try to win $5,000. <laughs> so I am on the fourth week and oh, I can't wait for it to be over. <laughs> I bet you feel oh. so good, though. Yeah, but I could really go put some chocolate right now. Yeah, I'm getting actually just a, an 11 day like shred right now, and I'm only on day four, and I'm like, is it is it over yet? Yes, yeah, seriously. <laughs> so no alcohol, watching my carbs and my calories, and he has us on a strict diet and um, workout regimen. So just trying to survive. I got two weeks and a half left. Good for you. We'll keep you in our prayers. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right, Rachel, I think we just about hit everybody that's on the call. So if you want to get started, everybody's pretty much logged in now. Okay. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. So as Instagram continues to roll out new business specific features, there's perhaps no better time than right now to uh, start building your Instagram presence from scratch. And the beauty of Instagram for business is that the platform isn't reserved for any particular brand. So whether you have a brick and mortar business or maybe you just have a solo business, uh, whatever the case may be, there's an audience on Instagram that's waiting for you. Now at first glance, figuring out how to use Instagram for business might just seem completely daunting. But despite, despite Instagram's many moving pieces, attracting followers and winning over customers is arguably which is easier than it's ever been. But it all boils down to your strategy. So this morning, I'd like to go over a few business tips to help you get started um, on Instagram. And with that being said, I'm going to dive in. But if please, if you have any questions that come to mind, don't be afraid to interject. Um, we can unmute you. And I would love to take those questions as they come. Or there's also a box at the and or the, at the bottom that you can, I lost where you guys were. There you are, hi, <laughs> wrong screen. But you can always also type your messages in if you don't wanna unmute yourself and we will address them at the end here. Okay, so the first slide. Okay, so the first step to Instagram is setting up your business profile. I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna be going, um, speaking about um, the benefits of having a business account versus a personal account and I'll, speak more to that here in a second. But the first steps is going to be to plug in your profile photo. And I would say it's best to use your company logo as your profile photo. That way your business can be easily identified as your brand. Uh, your account name, this should be set as your business name. And I would just make sure it is uniform with um, the name on all of your other social media platforms or on your website as well. And then of course your username. Now with your username, it should also be your business name. Just note that your username cannot have any spaces. So for me personally, in my photography business, 
I am starting a whole new rebranding because uh, my name is going to be changing in October. So I wanted to start with steps so I don't have to do that all at once in October. So I already changed my business name from Rachel Lawrence Photography to Rachel Casey Photography. And it turns out um, there's way less Rachel Casey's in the world than there are Rachel Lawrence's. So creating a username and a domain for a website has been way easier than saying, hey, look me up on Instagram. My, my name is Rachel underscore Lawrence underscore photography. Now I can just say, look up Rachel Casey photography. It's just a lot easier. So, <laughs> all right, and then your website. So this is gonna be the only URL um, that is clickable on your Instagram page. Most businesses either use their website or link to their latest promotional page. If you're using this as a promotional link, I would just set a reminder on your calendar to be sure you change the URL back from your website once the promotion has expired. I have been guilty of this um, in the past, actually pretty recently. And I'm like, oh man, I should have gone on there and checked the URL. So just make sure that once the promotion is passed, you go on there and put it as the home base that it should be. And then your bio. Your bio is going to be where you capture your attention of your users. So you can use this area to describe what your business does. Um, you can hype up your website or you can slap your brand slo slogan in there or you can actually do all of the above. Um, the, it only gives you a certain amount of characters. I would have to check of how many that is, but there's enough space in there to say something um, that captures your audience or at least tells them what you would want them to know about your business in short term. So uh, like I mentioned, there are, are many benefits and added perks that improve the usability as a brand when using your business profile versus a basic personal page. So for instance, the first slide or the next slide, with a business profile, you have the ability to add your content information and I just did a little comparison of my personal Instagram page versus my um, personal photography business page. And you can just see the slight dis the difference. Um, you, can, you have the ability to add your contact information with a business profile, which gives your business um, a more professional look. And not to mention adding even more ways for your audience to get in touch with you is never a bad thing. Okay, and then the next slide. Oh, and just, I'm sorry, um, go back really one more time. I'm sorry, AJ. So you'll, you can also see, I'm gonna talk about this here in a second, is um, in the middle next to the contact, you can see the insights button. And I just wanted to point that out and now we can go to the next slide, sorry. All right, so with business profile, you have access to analytics. So this is a big one. If you've listened to my previous Reboot with Rachel webinar, you might have learned about me that I am a complete analytics nerd and this feature makes me incredibly happy. <laughs> but switching to a business account uh, gives you the ability to access built-in insights about your account and its performance. You are able to take a look at your post performance, followers, activity, your and your audience insights. So while these things aren't extremely in-depth, it's a great glance at what your, the success of your account is and it gives you a basic understanding of how well your content is doing. And there's also other sites like that I can talk about um, just briefly is if you utilize something to schedule your posts, which I'm going to um, get to, but something called like Sprout Social, you have the ability to use that to schedule posts and it will give you a more uh, robust report, but um, that's irrelevant right now, but <laughs> all right, next slide. Okay, Instagram is infamous for its inability to link directly to blog posts, landing pages from your posts, and hence the popularity of saying like, after you post a photo, link in bio. Uh, and tools designed to collect all of, all of your recent and or more important links on one Instagram accessible page. However, accounts that have more than 10,000 followers gain access to a swipe up links feature in your Instagram stories. 
but only if that account is an Instagram business profile. So I am personally not there yet, but I am confident in saying that if you create a successful Instagram story, you'll be able to, you'll be linking content in your stories in no time. Story links is also a great way to highlight your latest content, highlight short-term deals or resurface timely content and products based on what's trending. Okay, next slide. Okay, you can also take advantage of Instagram advertising. I know I briefly mentioned this in the last two Reboot with Rachel webinars that um, Instagram ads and promoted posts are created through the Facebook ads manager which means you must have an Instagram business profile that is attached to your Facebook page in order to create these Instagram ad campaigns. To help generate leads, increase conversions, and get to that 10,000 follower threshold more quickly, your brand should be taking advantage of Instagram advertising. But if you're struggling to increase your reach, overcome some of, of the challenges brands face from the Instagram algorithm, Paid ads can also help you target key audiences. Okay, next slide. Okay, and this is kind of what I just um, mentioned. Another major Instagram update that's now a few years old, which I personally was also super excited about when this feature was launched, is the ability to schedule posts instead of having, having to schedule a reminder on manually to post that content. However, in order to utilize um, this feature, you have to utilize a third party tool such as um, Hootsuite, Sprout Social, like I mentioned, or Social Flow. Again, if you're going to use a third party tool to schedule your content ahead of time, this is only possible with an Instagram business profile. Uh, but I've used Sprout Social was probably my favorite one that I've used in my, in my past life. And it is, a very, very robust tool of, um, that you can see all of the week and you can see everything that's scheduled, how many times a day you're posting, and you can also pull a very robust report saying um, of analytics of how your account is doing. And it, the same goes with, with Facebook. Rachel, can if you're not going to, could you just explain a little bit um, for folks that are not as familiar with using like a third party like Sprout Social, <laughs> Can you explain how they would get that and, and would they need to then set that up? Uh, yeah, so most of the third party tools are, um, it's kind of, it's a paid, um, it's a paid program that you can utilize. Um, sometimes it'll be like a monthly fee, like 20, I think Hootsuite, the last time I used it, I believe it was like $20 a month. And you can just go on those third parties and manage your account right there without going to the Facebook, Instagram apps or Twitter as well. So when I was using Sprout Social, I can go on there and a great way that I also utilized it was to monitor um, comments and likes. So that way you can, you can reply to people right through Sprout Social um, instead of trying to follow every single person that commented on your post and manage your content if something was negative on your post you can remove it quickly and it all comes to one place it's just like a housing platform for all of your your social platform business <laughs> your social so that's the platform. one place then and then you would do stuff in there and then it can hit all of your social media twitter facebook and instagram at the same exactly. time exactly it's very okay. useful especially if you are um, managing multiple pages at once cool thanks okay Okay, so next slide, I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, another great feature that is only available to business accounts is the ability to turn your feed into an online shop, which sometimes for me, this feature gets me in, into a little bit of trouble as I'm aimlessly scrolling at night and I see something that I, I think I might want. <laughs> it's so, so easy to just click a few buttons and I'm like, okay, I purchased this, this is gonna be on my doorstep in a few days here. <laughs> But I'm also a great example as why this perk on Instagram is a great revenue stream for your business. <laughs> so you're welcome, everyone. <laughs> okay, next slide. All right. With so many business users and photos 
floating around on Instagram, standing out might seem like an uphill battle sometimes, but the truth is you don't need millions of followers on Instagram to be considered a successful story. So in short, build your own tribe. Make no mistake, Instagram is not only a, if, if I build it, they will come kind of platform, but businesses both big and small should focus not, um, not only on building their own followers, following, but also tapping into niche communities where their audience is already hanging out. So for example, for myself, I have become friend, many, friends with many people on my business account that I have never met in person. I have also had some people I formed relationships with on Instagram reach out to hire me as a photographer. And um, to this day, some of those people that I've met through Instagram we remain friends. So it's just been a great um, source of kind of like hanging out with people that are in the same industry that you're in. But all right, um, so how does this happen? We're gonna talk hashtags. So next slide. Okay, and when I think about hashtags, I don't know if any of you have ever seen that um, skit with um, Jimmy Fallon and Justin Timberlake where they, they use hashtag, the hashtag symbol like this. So every time I say hashtag, I wanna, I wanna do that hashtag. But um, hashtags essentially act as a search function for Instagram to find relevant followers in brands. In order to tap into your tar target audience it means getting specific. So for instance, um, there are literally hundreds of millions of posts with the hashtag <laughs> photography. So rather than tackling crowded hashtags, consider how smaller niche hashtags could stand out. So there's, uh, for an example, there's an Instagram account in Clearwater that reposts just beautiful photography from all over Central Florida. So typically, if I'm posting a photo that was captured in a surrounding area, I'll hashtag um, the account name, which is Cleargram. And then uh, I'm also, I'm proud to say that Cleargram has shared several of my photos and each time I get equally as excited, but with those shares after I hashtag it, um, people are also liking my, my page and it's a win-win. I, I gain more followers. All right, uh, next slide. Okay, following your customers. If your fans and customers are already on Instagram, using them as your billboards is a brilliant way um, to give them popularity on user-generated content. Being mentioned or having content shared by a brand is often fun and exciting for consumers, um, but their shares not only help you get get their get to their audience, but you can also expose your audience as well. So it's another win-win scenario when it's done correctly. I always try to interact with um, everyone who is liking my page or commenting on my content. Okay, next slide. Okay, officials. Efficiency counts on any social media platform and Instagram is, is no different. So make your account or make your activity count. So serial liking posts can help, replying to comments, following relevant users, all of these things will help you help your Instagram account grow, which ultimately will have a positive effect on your business. So between these actions, as well as your own content calendar, it certainly pays to streamline your activity to save time. So for me personally, I oftentimes post late at night and when looking at my insights as Instagram calls them or the analytics, it states that I have the most engagement around 9 p.m. And for some reason, Instagram always tends to have, um, at least in my experience, has better um, results when posting later. And I don't know if that's because like people are shutting down for the day and they're just scrolling, but at least that's how it's been going in my personal experience. All right, next slide. Rachel, quick question. Sure. I was listening to a webinar um, this week of a guy that was talking about his social media, particularly on Instagram. And he was saying one of the things that he does for his business is each Monday morning, he sits down and kind of schedules out his, his posts for the rest of the week so he doesn't have to remember to do it during the week. Is that something that you think it would be useful for people to do who are doing this on a business side or do you think they should be doing it 
like each day? Most definitely. I mean, I think scheduling posts is always a great habit to get into. Um, but unfortunately with Instagram, the only way you're able to schedule posts is with those third party um, accounts. So like through Hootsuite or social, um, Sprout Social, or there's a, there's a plethora of them out there. But if you're utilizing one of those third party tools, then definitely. Um, and also another feature, I know I keep selling Sprout Social because it's my favorite platform, um, third party platform. But another thing that it does is it, it gets to know your accounts and it will tell you um, specifically what, what time of day is best to post per um, your social media platform. So it will tell you on Facebook, um, you have the best results between this time. You have the best results on Instagram between this time. And uh, it's just a great feature. So if you're utilizing one of those third-party accounts, definitely a, a great practice to get into. Okay, so when speaking about goals, ask yourself, why are you investing in Instagram for business in the first place? With so many diverse, with so much diversity in terms of what you can post, pretty much any goal is fair game. So uh, are you trying, are you trying hard at, at social selling? Or are, you, are you trying your hand, I'm sorry, at social selling? Are you, are you just trying to build some much needed brand awareness? Um, are you, do you have a killer photo that you're just itching to share and show off? Um, heck yes, all of these things. I want all of the things. But uh, just make sure you, that you post content that speaks to these goals. So you could ask yourself, is my image eye-popping? Am I showing off a product um, and, and a, a customer of mine is satisfied as well? Are you providing a call to action? For viewers, uh, haphazardly posting on posting is not via, a viable strategy when it comes to Instagram for business. Once once you define what your brand wants to do, you can begin to better speak the language of your followers. Okay, next slide. Crafting that's my dog Bella. You might be able to see her in the back, but <laughs> crafting your brand's narrative. Uh, what better way to captivate followers than by telling a story? You don't need to be a master storyteller to create a narrative. You just need to let your pictures and captions do the talking. So at one time, I, uh, before I had a child <laughs> and I was a single woman living the dream, I dressed up both of my dogs in different outfits and put a bunch of different backdrops up and um, I took photos of them and then I released them on social media and captioned them with a different story that I think their personality is paired with the outfit they were wearing. So I had a uh, wino Bella, as you can see, hipster doodle, I had airport doodle and the list goes on and on. So just don't be afraid to get fun with it. Um, Instagram, you can, is, um, a little more, um, free free than than facebook facebook you can be more structured but instagram you can be a little bit more willy-nilly with it <laughs> but at the end of the day mastering mastering instagram for business is ultimately about business so that is promoting whatever it is that you have to sell there is a plethora of ways to show off your products without shoving them down your followers faces but creativity creativity counts on instagram unlike any platform so uh, I believe that wraps it up. And does anyone have any questions? I know I spoke a lot. <laughs> I don't think we have anything in the chat box, but we covered quite a range of topics right there. So I'm gonna just unmute everybody and just see if, uh, if anybody needs to ask any questions. Okay, so everybody's just muted themselves. I guess if anybody's got any questions, just raise your hand. So I'm going to pull this over here so that I can and, see. And I will also yeah. be posting this webinar on our YouTube page and I'll also include it in our weekly newsletter first thing Monday morning. 
So if a question does come to you, my email address is rachel at winterhavenchamber.com. So please don't hesitate to reach out or you could message our Instagram or Facebook account. And uh, if it's not me, the one apply, uh, replying, then Amanda and Katie are also monitors on there. So cool. Sherry has a question, Rachel. Okay. Yeah. How do I convert a personal account to a business account? Great question. Okay. There is a feature and it has been a minute since I have done this, so bear with me. Okay, so if you go to your profile in the right hand corner, there'll be a settings um, wheel and you can tap account and then you can just tap um, switch to professional account and then you can tap business and if you'd like uh, you can follow these steps to connect your business account to your Facebook page associated with your business as well. Okay that sounds good. I have one other problem, one other issue. Sure. Um, Somehow, I, I think I got two Instagram accounts for WRC. So should I just remove one, delete one? Do, do, you have, do you have followers on both of them? Not enough to really uh, talk about. I, it would be like no more than 20, 24, not many. Sure. Are you um, more active on one than the other? No, actually, um, somehow my, uh, my following, who I follow ends up being my grandchildren. So <laughs> the, it's the personal and the business are kind of, are combined. Okay, I apologize for my dogs. I, I thought we were gonna make it through here, this without <laughs> hearing from them, but. Um, yeah. So if you want to keep the, the people who are you, you're following, you could always convert one of those profiles to your personal account and then just keep the other one for your business. Okay. You can change the name on it. Um, but otherwise, I would suggest um, getting rid of the one if you only wanted to have one. To, mm -hmm. um, then I would just suggest getting rid of the one that you're not as active on or the one that has less followers. Okay. Um, you can also, you can also have multiple accounts hosted in your Instagram. So you can toggle back and forth between Instagram accounts if you do have two. Okay. They used to make you completely sign out and log back into another one. And when they released that, it was like life changing, but you can now toggle back and forth between accounts. Cool. Okay, and then thank you. Tiffany asked if we can share the slides with uh, the PowerPoint and I said, yeah, we'll send out, we can send the slides to you all and the YouTube link too once we get that uploaded, so. Absolutely. Perfect. Well, everyone, thank you so much for joining me this morning. I hope you learned a little bit about Instagram and like I mentioned before, my email is rachel at winterhavenchamber.com and it's spelled R-A-C-H-E-L. I don't have the extra A in there that some people put. But <laughs> so please don't hesitate to reach out to me if you have any questions. Thank you. Have a wonderful Thursday, everybody. Bye, everyone.